In this lesson, you're going to learn how to pronounce ordinal numbers. And this lesson was requested by Paul. So thanks, Paul, for your request. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com, and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to pronounce ordinal numbers. There are four different pronunciations that you need to get comfortable with, and keep in mind that the sound is going to change depending on if it's in the middle of a sentence or at the end of a sentence. So we're going to practice both. Now, your four different options are here. So let's talk about the numbers that use these and we're going to talk about one to a hundred, okay? But there's a pattern, so this will be really easy. So first, first, second, second, third, fourth, fourth. So you need to know those, one to four. Now that is going to repeat itself even if it's in 21st, 32nd, 44th, okay, so the pattern holds. Now, from four to 20, and then 24 to 30, 34 to 40, okay, it's a pattern. So from four to 20, it's going to use 24th, 25th, 26th, okay? So you just need to memorize these four different pronunciations. So let's talk about them now. First, st. Remember, pronunciation is all about mouth position. So notice, st, st. So I make an S sound, st, st. Now, to make that t, my tongue is hitting the back of my teeth. So you try, st, st, st. That's the first, first, okay? Now, let's hear it in a sentence. It's his first birthday. It's his first birthday. So notice when I say it in a sentence, his first birthday, I don't really push out that t sound because it forces me to take a pause and we don't like that pause in English. So notice that t isn't very strong when it comes in the middle of a sentence. It's his first birthday. So you really just hear this t sound. First birthday, first birthday. It's his first birthday. But when it comes at the very end, because there's a period there and I'm going to take a pause anyway, then I can push out that T sound. First, okay? So for example, he came in first. He came in first. So just get comfortable making that T sound and then not making it when it's in the middle of a sentence. So remember, you need this sound for first, 21st, 31st, 41st, 51st, etc. Okay? Second, and, and. So we have an n. Notice, my, you can't see my tongue. My tongue is at the roof here. N, 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 n. Now, when I make that D, I just flip my tongue down. Nd, second, second. But what you hear most is that N sound, okay? Second, second. Now, same thing. We don't want that T sound with the D when it's in the middle of a sentence because it forces us to pause and we don't like pauses in English. So here's what it sounds like in the middle. It's his second birthday. It's his second birthday, second birthday. So all you hear is that n. It's his second birthday, second birthday. Now, when it's at the end of the sentence, we can do our d. So he came in second. He came in second. N -d. He came in second. So this is used for second, 20 second, 30 second, 40 second, 70 second. It's a pattern. Third, erd, erd. 
This one could be hard because we have that strong er sound. Er. The er is coming from my throat. Er. -d. Now, notice I end it on a d. d. So my tongue d, is coming down at the top of my teeth. Third. D, d. Okay, now you try. Third. Erd. Erd. You try. Erd. Third. Okay, great. Now, the same thing's going to happen in the middle of a sentence. You're not going to hear that d, okay? So, it's his third birthday. Third birthday. Erd birthday. It's his third birthday. He came in third. So, notice you hear that d. He came in third. And this one's used for third, 23rd, 53rd, 103rd, and it goes on. Now, our final sound is used with the most numbers. So it's the most common. And it's that th, th, okay? Fourth. Th. Here, notice my tongue. Th, th, okay? So my tongue is going to be between my teeth. Th, th. And then I open and I make a th, th, th. Fourth. Fourth. You try. Fourth. Th, th, th. So you can just try the sound before you add the number just to get comfortable with it. When you're comfortable with it, you can add in fourth. Th, th, fourth. Good. Now, same thing. We don't want that th in the middle of a sentence. It causes us to take a pause. So it's going to sound like it's his fourth birthday. Fourth birthday. So notice. I almost, I stick my tongue out, but not very much. Fourth birthday, but I don't go th. I don't do that, okay? So I go fourth birthday, fourth birthday. So there is going to be a little stop and there's going to be a slight pause before you go to birthday, but there isn't going to be a big th in the middle. It's his fourth birthday. Now let's compare that to when it comes at the end. He came in fourth. Notice, at the end, I'm going to make that puff of air. He came in fourth. He came in fourth. Now, here's what you need to keep in mind. This sound is used from four all the way to 20, okay? But then the pattern starts and it's 24 to 30, 34 to 40, 44 to 50, and the pattern continues. So just keep that in mind. All right, so now you know how to pronounce them, but guess what? Having the knowledge of how to pronounce them doesn't mean that you can now pronounce them, okay? I'll be honest with you. It's going to take lots of practice and repetition, so that's what I want you to do. You can make this your goal for the week and work on this for the entire week because you are not going to instantly improve this, okay? It doesn't work like that. It takes practice and repetition. So commit to doing the practice and repetition. Do you commit? Put it in the comments. Yes, Jennifer, I commit. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now, before you go, I also want you to take our four sounds and write four different sentences using those sounds. But important, I want you to after say them out loud, record yourself and compare it to my pronunciation so you get really comfortable with it. So make sure you put your four sentences using our four ordinal numbers in the comments below. And before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, j4senglish.com and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. All right, I just wanna make sure, did you commit? Are you sure? Did you put it in the comments? Did you say, yes, Jennifer, I commit? If not, make sure you do that now because I want you to get results. And to get results, you need practice and repetition. So commit to doing the work. Put it in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.